What is going on today, guys? Today, we are back with another video. And don't click off this because you may think it's clickbait. No. Alright. So, these FNAF people said that it will be coming to PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, and PC. It will be a tiny exclusive on PlayStation consoles for three months. Don't know what that means. So, if it costs money, I would assume you keep the game. Don't know. I play an Xbox, though. And there are already financial phrase games out on Xbox right now. So, I would assume that they may just say it's consoles for three months and then for like for playstation 5 and then release it to xbox x series so it's kind of like oh yeah this is a thing for three months it's kind of a little test thing possibly don't know for fact don't know for fact but possibly like a little you know little test thing and see how it goes now let's watch the trailer because Gregory, your friends are worried this is the you. new villain they're here with me it's kind of like a, out. yeah, please come out. Gregory, I gotta say, I love the things. Here. Okay, right. But it was just a it there. See that guy right there? That is a new animatronic. And if we zoom on it, zoom in on it, right there, kind of see it's kind of like a moon-shaped animatronic. Now, I was thinking that this was kind of like, you know, Maybe like a jester style, jester style kind of animatronic, you know, kind of like, because it looks like a moon. So I was thinking, what if there was a sun one, because it kind of looks like, I, I can't really tell, but it looks like it's got like a little hat on, I think, like a little wizard hat. I can't really tell, but when I zoom in on it in my editing thing, I probably could, but it looks like a tiny hat. So what if there was a moon and a sun, and it was like, I don't know, like maybe like a, Hmm, what would be a good name? Like a dark jester and a light jester, or like moon jester and sun jester, you know, kind of like the silly animatronics, kind of like the annoying balloon boys of the game. Now, also, it looks like it will be a free roam game. Not entirely sure on that one, but it looks like it would be. And I love free roaming games like, you know, like kind of like uh, the Dead by Daylight kind of stuff. Now, let's keep watching. I want to show you something. Again. Here goes the animatronic. It's been such a difficult okay, right here. Okay, so you see those little holes in the walls right there. Now, Dead by Daylight has ones where you can jump through those. Now, also, the laser tag looks like the maze from the VR, the Halloween update, where you went through the maze with Fire Foxy. The, what was the proper, is it Grim Foxy? I want to get the names right so I don't sound like an idiot, but... Okay, so look, so you see, we got the things there, now it looks like a maze, and it looks kind of like, you know, kind of like a little party room up there, maybe like a little laser tag for like the parents to wash their kids in, you know, and uh, you see the big sp spiral, spiral staircase, and here, let's keep watching, so we see you right, okay, that red one down below, so that's upstairs, the green, the red one down below, that could be the things you jump through to get you know escape the animatronics or maybe or get through like a maze maybe you're getting chased by like like one of the animatronics now we know that there's new animatronics right also the alligator guy is new too then of course we have the freddy we have the chica and the one person from the space freddy thing and then so we have all those right you know like dead by daylight now i'm doing a lot of dead by daylight references but of course you can jump through stuff and in the VR, you could hide, right? So, my guess, just by guessing, is you're going to be chased through an animatronic, right? And you can go through these if it gets too close to you to give yourself some distance between it, right? Now, if it's free roaming, and it's going to be out for PlayStation 5, 4, and PC, but it's only for three months, I was thinking that maybe I'll do it for the same for Xbox Next. But of course, you gotta think, you know, it's Xbox, you know, you just rearrange some buttons, you know, just repro- See, reprogramming stuff takes a long time. Like, I know PlayStation's got different things, plus the controller looks completely, well, not completely different, I would say the one thing's different, the little joysticks, and then A, B, Y, and X, of course. 
Well, I guess X is technically on the PlayStation, but you know what I mean. So, you gotta consider, they gotta reprogram it for the different wirings, and you don't know what Xbox has in their controllers compared to uh, PS4 or PS the new PS5. So, you gotta take that in consideration, too. But if it comes out for Xbox, you know I'm playing that. You know I am playing this. And I will try to complete the other ones that I have, like Find Ice of Phrase 1, 2, and 3, 4. Um, but I've been doing a lot of other things on my channel, but let's keep going with the finance of phrase thing, of course. It now, it's again. pretty, see, okay. Right here, this looks like the entrance, because you kind of see, you know, the little gateway. No, I gotta say, the graphics on this look amazing. But we got the glam rock gift thing over there. I would assume that's like a little, you know, where you can spend your tokens or whatever. We also got a nice little picture of the glam rock Freddy and Chica over there. Up there looks like a music or painting area, maybe like a little cartoon gallery or something, I don't know. It looks like one of those fancy art galleries kind of thing. And then, of course, we got the main entrance. I gotta say, looks fantastic. Scott Cawthon, you did a great job, and thank you for making all these amazing games. Like, my gosh. It's been so great playing them. And just great. I also went back on some of the lore, too. To refresh when I saw the trailer, because I want to make sure I was getting all my stuff right. And so let's keep going. Great area. That breathing's probably Gregory's. Just a glitch. Just a glitch. That's from Glitch Trap from the VR. Be still. I think she's found us. And then you get the jump scare. So with that being said, just to get this straight, right? This will be on PS5, 4, and PC, but only for the PS for about three months. If I look at the thingy here, it says, Steel Wool Studios and Scott Games have announced Five Nights at Freddy's and Security Beach for PlayStation 5, 4, and PC. It will be a timed exclusive on PlayStation consoles for three months. Now, of course, exclusives can change, right? So, if it does come out for Xbox, which... Of course, we know it's coming out for PlayStation, but if it was, you know, Scott Cawthon, he's kind of, he kind of a little bit of a troll when it comes to his games. So, we got the Five Nights at Freddy's, well, up to three here, I still have to get four, but he's got the games out, and if it comes to Xbox and PlayStation, it may be a while like it did with these games, but I assure you, it will come to Xbox probably if it doesn't, and it's just PlayStation exclusive for a bit, my guess, you will probably have to have, like, uh, whatever PlayStation, Xbox, pa like, Game Pass is, and kind of, you know, buy it, and it'll probably be a free thing for three months, and then it's just gone. Or if you buy it, maybe you'll keep it, and it's just off the store from then on. I don't know, but dang, it makes me want to go buy a PlayStation 5, honestly. Because, man, that would be cool to play. But my guess is free roaming. That's going to be kind of like a Dead by Daylight thing. Looks extremely good. And, yeah. That's all I really have to say. Um, Again, from the teasers and stuff, it looks like there's going to be new animatronics. Obviously, you know, there's a new um, killer. And it looks like there is a new jump scare for the, th the uh, Vanessa. If that's her full name. Or some people just call her Vanny for short. Um, yeah, that's kind of it, though. The thing is, if it does come to Xbox, then, or, it, it probably, I would assume, would have, like, maybe some updates to it, because if it's going to be exclusive for a limited amount of time, they can always bring it back, you know? So, it's probably going to be a test for PlayStation, and then, probably, will bring it to Xbox later time. Don't know for a fact... Don't quote me on any of this, because I don't know for a fact if it will come to Xbox. But that's just some theory that I've been going through. Also, the uh, the trailer looks amazing. Like, I gotta say, man. And the graphics are stupid. Stu oh my, I can't speak. Oh, the graphics are amazing. And, my gosh, it just looks like a great game in general. I'm super happy about it. And I'm sure a lot of other people are super happy about it, too. And, Scott Cawthon, if you are watching this... Please, please, please put it on Xbox because I will play that in a heartbeat, my guy.
But like, if if the if Finance of Freddy's one one through four is on Xbox, I'm sure it will come to Xbox, but just on a later time. But it makes more sense to me to put it on a controller than a uh, PC or VR, just because the only thing you would really have to do is kind of take like from a free roaming game, like a Dead by Daylight kind of area, and just be like, hey. You know, here's this, and then you'd be like, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. And then, you know, just kind of push that aside for three months on the PlayStation, and then be like, all right, gaming controller stuff, you know, we got that down, maybe add that to Xbox X series, that would be cool. Um, but obviously, if it comes on one store, it should, probably could come onto the, an Xbox store. And, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, make sure you subscribe and go watch some of my other stuff. I also made a finite phrase building in Minecraft based off the first one. So you should go check that out because I built it from scratch and I just kind of, uh, yeah, just, it's just really good. It's a hide and seek one and we also did a hide and seek video on it. So you guys should go check that out. And if you want me to explain more FNAF or think what's going to happen to this, let me know down in the comments down below if you got any more questions and I will be more than glad to make another video on it. But yeah, that's what I think is going on with Finance at Freddy's. And, yeah, there's really nothing else to say. And also, Scott Cawthon, if you are watching, thank you for making so many great games. I love the Finance of Freddy series. Great. And I'm so excited for the free roaming to watch that. But I probably won't play it since I am on Xbox. Um, but, man, it looks like a great game. And, uh, yeah, please put it on Xbox. And if it goes on PlayStation, you know, probably has a good chance coming on to Xbox. Um... <laughs> But yeah, so I guess I'll see you guys in the next.